Hi there. Tonight, we're going to play Rampage. You might remember it from your childhood as the Nintendo game Rampage. Unfortunately, if you go to the store, they lost the licensing for this. So it's probably going to be called either Terror in Meeple City or Escape from Meeple City. I'm not really sure which one that they went on. But it's pretty simple and easy to play. We're going to start by setting up the board. And as you see, we have uh, little tiny meeples, different uh, colors and shapes and sizes as you can see, and different um, parts of buildings. So I'm going to start actually back here with this building. And a meeple goes onto each corner. And I've randomly pulled out meeples from the bag and sat them out for this. So you put one on each corner, and then you put on the uh, next floor. And looks like it's a movie theater for this building. So then we put four more meeples on. In the initial setup, these colors mean nothing. But once we start the game, depending on what people's special powers or abilities are, the little colors of these people can mean lots of points. So we're just going to put this together here. Look, here is our next floor. It's just a, uh, it's a house. Which my house looked like that. Over a movie theater. Yeah, over a movie theater. So uh, it's probably like at the Magnolia or something. <laughs> but we put a meeple in each corner again. We've got to be very careful. Try and try not to knock down the buildings yet. We we'll get to that later. Finally, I put the roof on. And a meeple goes on top of the roof. So how many buildings are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six buildings, and then a stadium in the middle. Okay. Well, you should have three cards. You should have a power card, a secret power card, and a character card. So take your character card and your power card and just lay them out in front of you because everyone can see what those are. Keep your secret superpower a secret, so just stick it behind your screen. I'm going to start here. I have my character card here, and my character is Meme. So when I look at this here, it says Meme. If at the end of the game you've eaten more heroes, the red meeples, than each other monster, I get 10 additional victory points for that. My power is sharp canines, which means that at the end of my turn, I can eat two extra meeples over the number of teeth I have. So I currently have four teeth, so that means I can eat six meeples. Take a look at that sheet and figure out what your powers are because it's important. Uh, your character tells you which meeple color you want to be eating. Um, and then your superpower, your, your power, tells you what special ability you have. You're an anarchist, which means score three victory points for each set of soldier and journalist, green and blue meeples, mm -hmm. that you ate. Okay. I am a vacuum. You can suck meeples from other areas. After a brief action, place all the meeples who have just left the city in your neighborhood rather than on the runway board. Yeah. And I am a romantic. So... This is the runway board right here. When a meeple gets knocked off of the board, we put it here. And okay. there's consequences to filling up each line. So, say on the say I knock off two meeples, and then say Harry knocks off the third, Harry's going to lose a tooth. And that's his consequence. Okay. So, there's a few other rules for the game. When you are going, if you knock down a building, you lose a tooth. If you like bump into the to the table and knock it down, but there's going to be a lot of movement. There is a lot of movement. So when you first come in, you're going to want to get up to a building. So you're going to take your little thing, and I'm going to take this one here because it's the closest. It's a dinosaur. And you want to, yeah, you want to take your monster's feet and you want to flick it towards this. If it's touching the sidewalk like this here, you can then, because that's your movement, you can then come up here and drop your, your monster from any height you want onto the building, knocking it down. Okay. 
any meeples that are knocked off of the building that are within the area that you're at, you can eat. So for you in this area, if it's inside this beach area, you can eat those. Okay. Now, unfortunately, if it's touching the sidewalk, you can't get it. But when you knock down when you knock down a building, if you have a floor, even if it's intact like this here, and there's no people on top of it, you can eat that floor. Floors are points, and you can eat as many floors as you knock down. So that's good because you want to do those. Now with the meeples though, like I said, you can only eat the number of teeth that you have unless you have a power like mine that allows you to eat more. So you can also, if you come over and you knock your little, your little foot into one of these little buses, you can actually take it and put it on top of the head and flick it across the board to knock down. Okay. And that's fine. There's also another one. Pull it out. I don't know. If, I don't know if anybody has this one here, but there is a breathe ability that you can use as well. And actually, I think everyone can do breathe. So if you want, you can come and you can put your chin on top of it and blow to knock down buildings. So when you're up against it, you can do that. Here's the kicker. You always have to be sitting when you play. Right. You can get up, you can move wherever you want, but you have to be sitting, even if that means you're sitting in someone's lap. <laughs> so it can become a very friendly thing. It could, <laughs> it could. So do you have any questions about it? Did, I, did everyone I look to, to if see? If I have to sit in someone's lap, you could hold on to me? You, yeah, you, you <laughs> can ask them that. But did everyone, so does everyone know what their character and their power does and what their super secret power is? Oh, by so verb, by by the the I know, but that's all. Oh, we hand that to you. So to decide who plays first, we all have to do our best monster impersonation and whoever does the best one goes first. I'll see it. I'll see it. <laughs> yeah. No, you can do it however you want. Okay. One at a time. One at a time. We'll start with Harry and end with me. Harry, do your monster impersonation. How would he go? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Now who gets to vote? Who did the best one, though? The group. The group decides who did the best one. What do we do? I like, I like Harry's, so... I like Harry's, too. Did you oh, like Harry's? Yeah. He likes Harry's. Did you... I liked everybody. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, Harry, we'll <laughs> let you go first, then. I just don't know what in the world I'm doing, but okay. So, unless there are meeples in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and if there's meeples in my neighborhood, I can eat them. But only within these, so it has to be within these boundaries here. Okay. So all of these are different neighborhoods. And so like okay. with the stadium here in the middle, they go all to all the neighborhoods. So I should go ahead and give it a try then, yeah? Go ahead and give it a try. Give it a little flick. Give it a whirl. Oh. Whoa. I didn't mean, I didn't mean for it to go that way. Well, it was supposed to exciting. go that way. And you knocked the one out completely out. The, technically, out you should, technically, I think you lose a tooth for that, but I think we'll mulligan that since yeah. it's the first You got one. it? Okay. I need to aim, so, yeah. aim better. And much lighter flick. And much lighter flick? Yeah, you overdid it by, over, over. by 20 fold. Oh, okay. You need to get this building or that building. That's here. what I was sort of trying to go yeah, for. But I you was actually shooting for that one. Like, okay, yeah. I'll do it better. You have, two, you have two moves, so you can be like gentle with it. You can be like, doot, doot. Okay. You can use any finger. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, that that's the bus, well, yeah, but you're also at the stadium. If you want to try to take out the stadium, you're welcome oh, yeah. to. I have to. No, wait. no, you're, no you're touching drop, that sidewalk. Drop this guy onto the stadium. Yeah, so drop the oh, guy onto the stadium. Straight up yeah. like that? Okay, so... Remember, you don't want to knock the people off the board, though, because then they run here. But you do want so to knock them off. Not too high, that. but high enough. Yeah, you just have to be very careful where, you, where you're dropping. One well, of them gone. So we but did I lose one. recovered somebody. Did you catch it? I, I caught it in I my hand, actually. So I lost so him. So you lost him, but no one came into this neighborhood, so... Uh, yellow person flipped Yeah, they're, there. they're actually... 
that actually technically run into this building here okay. because your touch sign was. So I am, and this person is in this neighborhood. So I really didn't do much. Good yeah. There, so right I? now, yeah, you're just kind of sitting right okay. there. Okay. Now I guess I'm finished. Nope, not enough. You can do one more, but and that that'll end your turn. Because if you you want to at least get up to the building, because okay. on the next turn you can attack it. Okay. He's at the building. On the sidewalk. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Ah! <laughs> At least I made it the it second time. Back. Okay, here. Okay, so move my boy, and then try to flick it again, right? No, no, no you no. can attack that again if you want, or you can try to move oh, it out of the building. Drop it, drop, do the mm -hmm. drop again. I mean, you're close enough, or you could pick up this bus because you're technically you're touching it, and you can flick that at a building. Oh, yeah. I missed. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> so what happens in that case? Um, do I have to put the building back? No. No, I, no, no. I don't know. The, the building, uh, you hit the building by does, mistake. Does it get to eat the floor? It's well, it, it, it bounced off of my target. And no, I, I haven't actually knocked down a building by accident trying to knock another building down. <laughs> That's, I'm sure it happens a lot, though. <laughs> uh, I would assume he gets this top floor. Well, wow, that didn't help. Wow. Yeah, you hit the building, so at least you didn't lose a tooth. If you miss the building, you lose a tooth. Oh, yeah. Does he get another turn? Yeah, you do get oh. another turn because you're already there. You get two actions, so you can try that one more time. Okay. You're going to get it this time. Yeah. And so you get to uh, automatically eat that this floor. here. And then... Can't put that there. You ate it. You can yeah. eat this red one okay. here. Are there any others completely with it? You can eat this one here. It's straddling the oh, two right. neighborhoods. Give me that one. And are there any others? Oh, I got a red and a yellow together, so. Put them in your stomach. Yeah, you, you, you got to move forward. Ding, ding. I know what you're doing. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. You I, lose a tooth. Okay, so here we go. Wait, was that my only turn? You moved and then you dropped. Yes. You just have to touch the sidewalk with your feet. There you go. Perfect. And now you can uh, attack that building. I would suggest attacking on this side, not so not to. Uh, like over here? Add, uh, to this more. corner? Yeah, because it looks perilous. There you go. You That's lost good. Oh, well, we lost a meeple. Why don't I try to drop again? Yeah, try drop again. That's a good move. Oh, good oh gracious. Shit. So you get that. I can, I can try to... You could just do it when it was an empty floor. So you can take that. Yeah. Nope, and didn't do anything. I'm here, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. You got your black. You get that. Thank you. And you get that top floor. Now I'm going to flick this to try to get that building. Okay. Luckily, I had that extra move. Yeah. Oh, oh it went right in my armpit. <laughs> All right. Mm, probably, maybe this corner. Maybe. No. No, you don't corner by that corner. one. I think, I think this is here. To, yeah. Okay, so. There you go. Okay. Uh, cool. mm -hmm. Oh, you did it. There you go. Well, and I knocked that one over there. And now you can take the green one. And but now you can take that blonde. Okay. Good. Right. Okay, here we go. Oh, darn it. Knocked another one off. <laughs> <laughs> just, that bitch! Them. Somersault. Wow. She was a cheerleader. There, knocked them all off. Uh. Okay. Well, I'm there, for next time. there for next time, aren't I? The floor. I can't have. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh, two meeples off. off. Yep. Hard. We touching it? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's on the sidewalk. All right. So I could do that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, super excellent. That was super excellent. <laughs> well, I'm going to be a seed, but that was super excellent. That is such a fun game. I uh, played it at the game store, Common Ground Games, a few we, uh, months ago, and we just had a blast. I knew I wanted it, and I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Next thing I know, it's going out of print and becoming a different named game because they lost the license. So I rushed out, I bought it. So much fun. I mean, you get to build a city and then pretend you're a dinosaur and destroy it. Who doesn't want to do that? Rampage. I had played Rampage on several occasions prior. I don't understand the cards uh, that you get uh, at the beginning of the game. I probably should take some time to look at the instructions. But I'm kind of like one of those people that just sort of runs with it, with any game. I don't want uh, to inhibit other players. I'd rather kind of watch, even if I'm not being strategic for the first several rounds, and then, um, and then, and then just play. And uh, because it's it's all about fun, so I really enjoy it. Uh, I love the fact that it has a level of physicality to it, as well as being um, a game of uh, of, of sort of a, a team game. So yeah. Uh, Rampage was an interesting game. It was new. It's not a community game, a group game. Uh, it's European. I uh, can't remember where he said it was from, Scandinavia or something, I don't know. Um, it was very interesting. I thought at first it was all about building buildings, um, but it's actually about tearing buildings down and eating peoples or meeples and, and then using these power cards. Um, it was an interesting game. It wasn't very long. We just had a lot of breaks, but from the beginning to the end, it's not a, it's not a long game. So it's interesting. Also, they told me how much it costs. It's like $65 for one of those. Um, bet you might try it sometime. First time I'd played Rampage, I'd seen um, like a an online game play of it uh, with Will Wheaton during a fundraising for Tabletop or something. And it looked fun, and it, it looked like it would be difficult to film, and we, <laughs> we'll have to see uh, how successful that was for filming it. We had fun doing it, so you know, why would you not have fun knocking buildings down and, and eating people? <laughs>